Hello everyone, my name is Master Rolfus and welcome to Medieval 2 Total War. We're still playing with the mod known as Call of Warhammer. So last time we left off, uh, things have not been looking good. It's been one giant fumble after the next one and, you know, a bunch of other stupid shit. Ultimately, this Let's Play is almost over. Like, I stopped recording this and took a little bit of a break because... You know, I, I wanted to first and foremost piece together what I could do to wrestle myself out of this situation, but also on top of this, just to kind of, uh, I just took a break because I was so frustrated. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? So we not only have a rebel orc army that we have to deal with, we also have two dwarven armies that popped out of nowhere, a chaos army that popped out of nowhere, another dwarven army. A dwarven army and tons more dwarves. Now, in the background, you'll be hearing the music to uh, uh, what was it, Bloodborne? But yeah, we're pretty much. It's pretty much over. Like honestly, we have very little resources. So yeah, finally we can get some ogres, but it's too late because we don't have the economy to run with some ogres. We don't have the economy to get enough forces. We don't even have the economy to get an orc boys unit. This mod is tough. There's a few reasons for that, but uh, it is tough. So what are we going to do? Well, we got some more shamans. I say we try to last as long as possible and see what happens. We can maybe pull back to Karakadron. That's where I have an army there um, waiting. Well, actually, that sentence didn't make sense. I have an army in Karakadron. What I could do is I could chill out. Wait a little bit, push out, and maybe conquer a League of Ostermark and see how far I go. Only Why can't I see this? I will escape death. Slovenia Noble. I don't care about that. Mm. Could maybe turn around and focus on the dwarves. Try to be like a, a roaming nomad race. So we're going to get kicked out of our initial territory and just roam about, really. But I don't know. It's going to be hard. First and foremost, what do we want to do? Do we just want to bypass the rebels and go for the, the dwarves? I mean, that can work. We are going to lose the orc camp. There's no fucking question about that. But do we want to save Grash, uh, Grash Rock's lair? Probably not. Fuck it. Let's let them have it. Ooh, if they can go back, and I can go to the Karak, that'd be wonderful. Now move that army. Move that slayer army. Nice. We have a window. We have a window. Ah. Uh. I'm just gonna, I wanna see what their units look like, which is why I wanna uh, go into the battle really quick. I didn't mention that this was the Bloodborne music, correct? I think I did, I don't know. I'm, my brain's not working today, it's at like 20% capacity. It's right now, 1.07 a.m. Usually I'm up a little bit later, but uh, I've been sleeping early as of late. All right, so let's just look at the battle. Just wanna see what's going on with the Chaos units. I'm limited here. I can't see like all the chaos units, which is kind of a little bit lame. I wish I was like one of those elite Total War YouTubers that knew how to like zoom in and shit. Sadly, I don't. This corn's chosen right over there. Oh man, that looks so cool. I want to do a let's play on one of the chaos um, factions, but I'm thinking, ooh, chaos trolls. That's another unit. Like, we didn't get any trolls. Like, ah, oh, fuck. Sucks so much. Honestly, our biggest problem with this entire let's play was that there were so many key units that we just didn't get access to. But whatever. Got some chaos knights, champion knights of corn. 
I pick Slanesh? I might just pick Slanesh just cause. Okay, they're about to get diddle dude like Dr. Doolittle. This might be actually the last part of our let's play, or maybe not. I don't know. I will last as long as possible on like the Slovenia campaign. Granted, actually with the Slovenia campaign, we were surrounded on all sides. There was nothing I could fucking do about that situation. We were fucked. And I couldn't actually do the last battle, which was weird. Like we were, um, I, I was not allowed to do it. Like the game kept crashing. It's very unstable for some reason. I'm not even making an excuse about that. Like, I would like to show off the last battle, but it just wouldn't work out. Alright, so after the Rebels, we get to go. Alright, so let's see. We don't need this. We do not need this fucking territory, because it does, it, it's never given us any forces. And it's surrounded by enemies. They're going down south, possibly to conquer the War Boss camp, along with the army over here... Led by one of those dwarven lords. Actually, they might have been taken out by chaos dwarves. And went down to deal with the chaos dwarves here. Yeah, should stay with the war boss camp. I'm trying to think, right? Like... I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think. Right now, the Chaos Dwarf and Dwarven armies are constantly going to fight over and over and over again. It, things are just going to get savage. It's not even going to be funny. Dwarven army went up north to War Boss Camp, and we know they've gone there before multiple times, so it's not unlikely that they will attack one day. Especially when they're done dealing with the Chaos Dwarves, because the Chaos Dwarves have been losing this war for quite a while. Um, just with the fact that there might be a, a Dwarven army here, and we're just not accounting for it. The Rebels are going to push in, and if I attack the Rebels, that's a waste of a lot of manpower, valuable manpower. The Dwarves are also right here. There are two Dwarven armies, in fact, three. One of them went up to the Corn uh, army, and then the other one is over here, probably moving down south to the War Boss camp, and then the Orc settlement's right over there, so... I think we should just avoid it all and go to the Karak, like I said beforehand. Yeah, that's an army we can't fight against. Let's get the nobility out of there. Oh, those guys are fucked. Let's also get the merchants out. Even though I don't know how much use orcs have for merchants. Maybe move them all around the place, use them as spies. Let's settle this now. One thing we could possibly do is try to conquer the main dwarven Karak. Give them some dwarves, ah, and as you can see, there's an army of dwarves right there. Oh yeah, once... um. These fools, or maybe the dwarves, conquer the Karakadron, then I'm fucked. Like, if I manage to keep hold of all these territories and maybe even reconquer the occupied dwarven town over here, this, um, the orc settlement, and maybe if I even, you know, by a stretch, manage to conquer the orc camp, if I lose Karakadron, it's over because that was the only city giving me the economy necessary to run this entire operation. Karak, uh, Gundabad. We don't have the resources to repair the walls. Can't do shit. The best thing to do is just move forward. None of this is my problem anymore. None of, none of this shit is something that I'm going to concern myself with. Ah, oh, there's that music. There's that soundtrack. There it is. Now the Chaos Dwarves are going to get Shrek back to Shrek 4. 
that movie was so shit. Like, you know, the reason why a lot of people make Shrek memes is because Shrek is really fucking bad. It's like Spy Kids level of bad. Spy Kids was terrible. Like, awful. And, you know, Shrek is at least a little bit of an inch above, like, Spy Kids, but a little bit more memeable. You know, you can make memes into Shrek about him raping people and stuff like that. You're not cool. What does that mean? I think that means more d rebels. Alright, that doesn't matter. We're getting out of there. Gotta get out of there. Oh, fuck me. That is not good. He's our heir, too. Oh, well. Kind of useless. Death stalks the land. Well. Well. I don't care. All right, we're finally going to get Pasa Vico, which is good. Now, keep moving. Our great orc exodus could possibly lead us to victory. We're going to have to pillage the fuck out of Ostermark. I am ravaging, raiding, raping the entirety of Ostermark. I don't even give a fuck what happens. But now, back to what I was going to talk about. Um, Man, what was it? I completely spaced out. Holy shit, I was like onto something and then like boom brain fucking farted on me It's been happening a lot. This is what happens with age. You just forget shit Granted, I think what I was talking about was just a bunch of gibberish anyway, that's 95% of my commentary just gibberish What the fuck is this is this part of the soundtrack I think yeah, I guess it is Wait, hold on a second all right, I am back. So, apparently, the guy's video actually had, uh, what was it, some ads embedded into it. I don't know why some people do that with their, um, with their videos. They put ads in the video itself. Fucking weird. Uh, whatever. Last time I used that video. In any case, I remember what I was talking about. Yes, yeah, so Shrek, <laughs> I'm going back to this. Shrek is bad. Not as bad as Spy Kids, but pretty bad. Right? It's on that level, but slightly above. Shrek 4 was, like, way below. Like, that is, like, levels of shit that I can't even fathom. You can go into the Department of Gastroenterology, and Shrek would be the lead director of that shit. It is crazy. All right, we have 17 dudes here. Obviously, that is not a lot, but could make it work. Let us combine you. Got a, a lot of weak units here. At least we're getting a lot of money, actually. I just want to put you in here. And who's this guy? He's a Orc Bigun's bodyguard. Why do we have archer boys? Come on. We're orcs. Who gives a shit? Okay, we have a watchtower there. That should help us check out what's going on. Move over there. Okay, I'm on my way. Orc spy, let's move him back here. Let's settle this grudge on it. Some dwarven lords. In fact, hold on a second. Let's move the merchant here. I feel like using them as spies. Let's actually use them for what they're good at. Hmm. 
Hmm. A lot of dwarves. A lot of dwarves. We're gonna have to check out this area. This area will allow us to attack Kara's a Karak. Listen, this is this is gonna be our finest hour right now. Can't believe we didn't get access to ogres earlier. League of Ostermark are attacking. So we know who to invade first and foremost. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, right? Eventually, League of Ostermark were going to attack us. That's a lot of fucking armies. Death stalks the land. War ball scrim gore. Oh, merciful Allah. Oh, bless us. Oh. You know, that is the wrong faction, but that's okay. Huh. Did you get knocked on the head? It's a babe. You Why is you Could just fight it right now. Your mother Army really so isn't that big. Did you get knocked on the head? It's a babe. Drive them back to their and own. it's better to attack them now than later. Uh, but I don't have a lot of strong. U oh wait, I do. I have fucking shamans, man. And a good amount of like destroyers and stuff like that. Well, not destroyers, but black orcs. All right, this is gonna be our finest hour. If our army dies, like if both our armies die, then that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna throw in the towel. All right. All right, Black Orcs, I need you all to get into position right now. Orc big uns. Need you in the back. Big Orc boys, need you over here. With a Black Orc destroyer unit in the back as well. Four board units will get in the backity back as well. Actually, all of you can get in the back. That's awesome. Actually, instead, let's put the black orcs here. Let's put these guys here. All right. Fuck me. Outmaneuvered. All right, shamans, I need you to fire. Fire when ready. The uh, I don't know, the mucus of Gork or Mork. Golly, it's a lot of pain. All right, I forgot. Black orcs. All right, so unlike last time, I'm just gonna use the uh. Shaman to constantly fire at this army. Like, I should have done that the last time around, but I was stupid. Shamans are doing a great amount of damage, actually. I've gotten into pretty nice shot front ranks, all things considered. Alright, push forward. We're your priest of Sigmar. I have to tie them up.
All right, surround the warrior priest. Come on. Come on, my boys. We'll just like stack these abilities right now. We can do a ton of damage. The boar boys to go around here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not tell you guys to do that. That's all. I don't know the shaman has done so well. I know spearmen have outmaneuvered us. It's time we move around. Right over here. Come on. Don't get outmaneuvered. Do not get outflanked, Arino. It's not good. Guys, you got outmaneuvered. Oh, no, never mind. At this point, we might as well use the Black Orcs. I've been keeping them in reserve for a very good reason. We'll say I don't want them to die. If I will, guys. Get the archers right now. Black orcs have died, actually. They assume very little. Black Orcs have <laughs> stumbled onto the battlefield, killing everything in sight. Now, this is pretty much over. I'm not sure what the, um, the units, I'm not sure which unit has the gunpowder, um, has gunpowder or not, it's a little bit weird, I think it's the shaman that's actually making that sound effect. Man, I don't know shit though. Right now we completely demolished the empire. Empire has always been an easy army to take out. For me, at least, like that's just that's just the case. Ah, the witch hunters. Those are guys with the gunpowder. All right. Well, it's time for us to go around and maybe smash them. Also, also send in the uh, the big bad orcs. Nothing to really shoot at at this point.
Come on, boys. Time to kill the warrior priest. Boy, this is going to be hard, actually. No way. They'll die. They'll die eventually. Oh, especially with our little ability that we just activated. Now we're just going to stack these abilities together, and now my ears will hit twice, at, will hit harder uh, times two, which is wonderful. So many units to worry about right now. Come on, Wish Hunters. You could die eventually. Alright, we're done. Only lost 271 units, and I bet most of them were Orc Boys. So I gotta call that a easy victory, but uh, it doesn't really matter because that was one army out of, like, five. Just execute them. I don't like they're gonna pay for it anyway. Now we got this guy, this guy, and that guy. Once we defeat all the Pokemon trainers, we can then move forward. Might be able to attack a League of Ostermark uh, city. So right now things have changed. It's not uh, dwarves anymore. It is mostly just uh, the League of Ostermark. Dwarves can deal with these rebels. I don't give a shit. We'll try and spy on the dwarves continuously, see when they're at their weakest, and then attack. I'm not giving up on this Let's Play yet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.